Hello, welcome to the Thursday, July 19th, 2018 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Washington, D.C. Our sensors over the last couple of days did detect a marked increase in scans for port 15,454. Now, there are only a couple of IP addresses really heavily scanning this port. They also appear to be scanning other ports in the direct vicinity, as well as port 22. Not really sure what they're after here. We saw a couple of RDP requests in our honeypots, but overall, if you have any ideas what they would be looking for, or, or if you're seeing this traffic in your own logs, then please let us know. And Oracle released its quarterly critical patch update. This version includes a record of 334 vulnerabilities that are being patched and now out of these 300 plus vulnerabilities there are 61 vulnerabilities that are rated as critical meaning their CVSS score exceeds 9.0. There are again a couple of critical web logic vulnerabilities. Now, not a lot of detail about this yet, but I wouldn't be surprised to see exploits for these vulnerabilities within the next few days, maybe within a couple of weeks. These vulnerabilities are easily exploitable according to Oracle and will get the attacker full access to the WebLogic server. In addition, there are a number of Log4j vulnerabilities that are being addressed. Now, Oracle has been patching this for a while. This affects different products. For each product that includes Log4j, they have a different CVE number, but I suspect that this is still the same sort of underlying Log4j vulnerability that they are patching here across the different products that are including this particular subsystem. So a record size update from Oracle that affects many products that are used by enterprises. Hopefully you can address them expeditiously. Like I said, you don't want to waste any time in particular on things like these web logic vulnerabilities. And apparently PayPal subsidiary Wenmo has not made it very clear to its users that all transactions conducted via their platform are by default public. You can change this setting, but you first have to find it and realize that all of your app transactions are accessible. This does include names of the sender and the recipient, also includes profile pictures and the like, the amounts being transacted. All of this is available via a simple REST API. A researcher who sort of came across this API now set up a little website where they are displaying playing five sample users of Menmo and all the details that you can sort of deduct about their lives based on their transactions. This issue was first pointed out apparently in October of 2016. Now, back then it didn't really get a lot of attention, I think. Maybe this new website, even though I don't necessarily agree with all the design choices of it, may put a little bit more pressure on Venmo to maybe make the default setting that these transactions are not public. Now, the website also offers instructions on how to turn off this public API. And apparently 90% of login attempts at online retailers are not legit and are caused by scripts trying to brute force the application. This information comes from Shape Security, a company that specializes in monitoring and evaluating the risk of login attempts. And they broke it down a little bit by industry with e-commerce being the number one target here. Airlines still 60% of login attempts 
are malicious. Now, airline miles and such, of course, are probably what they're after. The attacks here are not your good old plain brute force attempts. Instead, they are what's commonly called credential stuffing, where the attacker will use passwords and usernames leaked in various compromises in the past in order to try to apply them to these different sites. Consumer banking, interestingly, is only number three here with 58%, maybe because they pay a little bit more attention to these things and you're less likely going to be successful with just a username and a password. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.